459. 459 on CYCC. Now, I want to watch for possible red to green moves on CYCC or IDXG. You know, those are two stocks I really want to watch for for possible plays. Again, IDXG is trying to hold on up around that 285 mark. Trying to hold up around 285. IDXG does have a lot of potential, though. Has a lot of potential. CYCC. Starting to come on up a little bit, guys, on CYCC. Opened at 459. And I think it's going to be one of these plays. It's going to be either CYCC or it's going to be IDXG for the possible red to green move and our breakout. A few moments later. Again, no entries yet, guys. No entries for myself yet. Still just watching. Still waiting for a possible play. You know, IDXG, I want to look for a possible red to green move. If CYCC could do a possible red to green move. AKTX already kind of just did its red to green move. But again, it kind of gave everything back very quickly. So we're just sitting on our hands right now, guys. Sitting on our hands at the moment. No alerts yet. Sitting on our hands, no alerts, being smart, being safe, waiting for the best play. And we will go from there. You know, that's all we uh, that's all we can do. You know, wait for the best possible play and go from there. Eventually. And that's kind of my main play I'm watching right now, CYCC. If we could get a red to green move in this stock to possibly break this mark right here up in that 450 area and you go go on a nice pop i know it does have a larger spread i know you guys are like deck this has very low volume while you're looking at it let's just give it some time and let's see if this stock could possibly go on a nice rip for us you know and again break of cycc the stock could definitely get some nice activity towards it uh. you know slowly moving on up on cycc and again that stock did have a great you know press release this morning you know cycc had a great press release this morning and it is starting to move a little bit, guys. CYCC, get ready for a possible play on that on CYCC. And we are starting to get, you know, a little bit of that break on that play right here on CYCC. So CYCC on alert. As you guys could see, this stock, you know, getting that nice break and that nice run on up. So CYCC, this is what I was waiting for on this play to start getting some nice breaks and this nice run on up. And I'm looking for that possible, you know, $5 break on CYCC. But as I said, again, this is a very choppy stock. This is not going to be the easiest stock in the world to play. We are looking for that $5 break coming on up on CYCC right now. And if it could break $5, that thing could absolutely go on a monster rip and a monster tear. And here goes that $5 break. Boom, baby. That's what we love to see. And now we could really just see CYCC start to bring in some nice activity on this play. And it's all from just being patient. It's all from just being patient, waiting for the best possible plays. I currently have a position in CYCC. I only have 1,000 shares at the moment. I only have 1,000 shares at the moment, but I am looking for CYCC to currently continue to move on up, get some nice big popping uh, potential towards it. But it's all about just waiting. It's all about just waiting. And here's you know my first play of the day. You know It's all about just waiting. And here's my first play on the day, currently up 279 bucks right now. And we might have, did we just get halted on CYCC? <clears throat> CYCC just got halted, guys. So I am in on CYCC right now. And uh, I am waiting for this play to possibly go on a very nice rip as well. So again, all eyes turn towards CYCC as we could potentially see this ba bad boy go on a nice little run. Ow! So uh, let's keep our eyes on CYCC. This is when I start getting pretty excited, guys when we start looking for these uh, CYCC plays because I know the stock can rip. And if you guys are in on this play like I am, I'm looking forward to hopefully a big gap up. If it gaps down, we got to be smart, of course. But, uh, you know, right now we are halted and uh, we can see the stock, you know, really take on off. So we'll see what the stock's going to be doing. But again, guys, you are your own trader. Make sure you guys understand that. Um, I'm not about alerting 30 different things throughout the day. I'm alerting uh, plays that I'm going to probably be playing. And those plays are going to be, you know, the plays that have the best potential. I'm not here to play high reward, high risk. I'm, I'm here to play high reward, low risk. And if that's me having to sit on my hands for 30 minutes until I get that play, I'm absolutely okay with that. Um, 
you know, if that's me sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting and just waiting for the best possible, you know, snipe, the best possible shot, the best possible kill, um, you know, that's what, that's what you got to do. You can't force a play. So right now, CYCC, I'm, almost, I'm up almost $300 um, on CYCC right now. And uh, then I'm looking for, you know, oh, maybe a $1,000 a day if this can run up all the way towards around that uh, 580 mark. We are live, guys. We are live. CYCC now continuing to move on up still. Watch for the 450 break. I'm going for a thousand dollars today. Let's see a 450 break. If it's gonna not hold 450, I will sell though. I'm gonna lock up. I'm locking up. Locked up, locked out right there. I'm just being smart, team. Locking up, locking out. I was looking for a 550 break. Looking for a 550 break right there, but you could see Doji Star at 550, which scared me. Doji Star at 550, which just scared me. So I locked up. I just, you know, stayed as smart as I can. I would not be surprised, though, if CYCC goes on a bigger rip, guys, and, you know, breaks 550 and runs up to $6. I would not be surprised. as you, It's starting to get there now. This thing is known to take on off. You could see here it goes right here on CYCC. I am out, though. Uh, I am out. I'm done. I just made $400. I uh, made $400 so far. And uh, again, cannot be any happier. So awesome, awesome job for everyone who just made some quick profit right there. And uh, great job for everyone who locked up, you know, kind of at the same region that I locked up as well. Um, so CYCC, that play I am done with. Can it continue to move on up? Yes. Tradezilla. $310. Great job there, buddy. Awesome, awesome work. Uh, but again, CYCC right up here around this 550 mark. It is looking for the possible break. And that's all it takes, guys. It's just waiting for that best possible play. Gary G, CYCC in at 480, out at 539, 1,000 shares. Awesome job right there. Um, you know, it's just about being the smartest play. Brian Falker, 542. Great job, buddy. Um, and again, it's still moving on up. And if you guys are still in on this play, I think it does have a lot of potential. 550 is that main resistance line. It needs to break it, though. I saw a doji star. I started seeing a pullback. I got too nervous. But look at this. CYCC, if I kept holding, here's my $1,000 right here. If I kept holding, there's my $1,000 right there on CYCC. But I'm not going to just hop in on a play just because. Um, I'm not going to hop into a play just because of the plain fact that I haven't played anything in 30 minutes. You know, I'm going to wait for the best possible area and then go for a nice breakout. You know, wait for the best possible area and then go for a nice breakout. You know, it's that's what it's all about. You do the hokey pokey. <laughs> Several bad puns later. So it's just about, you know, just being smart, guys. You know, and uh, CYCC, I would have made a thousand bucks right here. But hey, you know, I cannot complain with about 400 bucks in the bank. Four hundred and two dollars in a day. As I already showed you, I only had a thousand shares, which you know wasn't too well. Again, our buy alert was all the way at four sixty. I couldn't get in until four eighty because uh, four eighty uh, the the spread was jumping up so quickly. So I couldn't get in at that four fifty or four sixty whenever we wanted to. But again, uh, seven hundred or a thousand shares plus four eighty equals four eighty, and then I just like to draw around a lot. So four oh two dollars on the day. So four hundred and two dollars on the day. I will take it. Um, especially just sitting back and waiting. So basically 30 minutes, $402. No complaints about that. Day of a trading session of each month, we do have to adjust. We have to understand it's a blank canvas and we have to see you know, where activity is going to be moving into. That's why I was very hesitant on today, guys. That's why I was very hesitant on what stocks I was playing and very picky. Now, if you guys are brand new to our chat room, you're probably like, it's 30 minutes. We've seen a couple of rips and spikes. This guy doesn't play anything. you know. And it's more of the fact that I am just very disciplined in myself as if I don't see anything with a lot of potential, I will not buy anything. There's days I don't buy anything, guys. And now uh, Sometimes I sit back and I say, hey, you know what? I haven't bought anything today because I potentially don't see anything. Um, and yes, is there going to be money making throughout the whole entire day? Yes, guys, there's absolutely, you can make money at all times. You know, if we're looking at COOL, you know, COOL, if you have a short on COOL right now, you know, you could possibly be making money. But is it, you know, the best predictability at this moment, at this time period? You know, maybe not the best because we're going to have some support at around this 18 buck mark and this thing has been ripping all day. So it's just, you know, about, you know, being as smart and uh, as, you know, the best possible trader you can be. Um, you know, that's what it really comes down to. Uh, so why did we play, you know, CYCC today? You know, how did we pick this out? How did we play this? Well, let's see what else we had going on today. 
you know, let's see what else we had going on today, what we were really looking at. Um, there was STDY, STDY this morning. Again, nothing bad against STDY. Um, and we talked about this play on STDY. This stock did come out with a good uh, press release this morning, April 3rd. It came out jumps on patent ruling. So we have a good press release. Um, STDY, you know, very big gap up, which is, you know, absolutely fine because it's bringing in a lot of hype. But a lot of people say, you know, why didn't I play this? Why didn't I play this, guys? The gap up to me is too big. You know, that's why I didn't play because a lot of people say, okay, you spotted out STDY, but there was also other plays with a lot of big time potential. So I want to show you guys why I didn't play some of the other plays that, you know, a lot of other people are, you know, beginner traders might have hopped in on. STDY. First off, that gap up is way too big. 90 on the RSI. I'm not going to be buying a stock that's overbought. STDY did go on a little bit of a climb at, uh, at the first because of the morning hype, but then it gave it all back to me. That's not really worth it. It's not predictable. It could have dropped right at the start of the day. So again, it's high reward, high risk. Could I have made, you know, a nice 50, 60 cents, you know, right at the start? Yes. But at the same time, it could have dropped right at the start, which I've seen countless times as well. So I didn't want to hop in on that play on STDY. We also had COOL this morning that was, you know, gapping on up. That was looking pretty nice. COOL has gone on a beautiful rip this morning. No doubt about that. But why haven't I played COOL? One you know, it's very choppy. You, you could see it's like dashed lines right here. That means we have lower volume and a larger spread. You know, COOL right now, guys, it has about a 40 cent spread. You know, 1824 is the bid. The ask is 1865. You know, that's not very good. That's not really what you guys want to be focusing on because that means you could get in at a very, you know, bad area. This is where you definitely have to do a limit and not a market order. Do not do a market order on COOL. Make sure you guys are doing a limit order and picking the exact price that you want to get in, of course. We also had APOP this morning. APOP this morning. This was a very nice play, you know, coming back on down. It bounced uh, right at around support at 775. You can see that's uh, uh, some upper shadows. So that was a very nice uh, support bounce that I got, you know, three days ago. And it's been constantly moving on up. We had a nice little gap up this morning. And we had a very nice, you know, very clean red to green move. As you guys could see right here, the stock opened up at around 990, made a nice U-shape pattern, and then went on a very nice pop. This play, you know, if I saw it just a little bit earlier, I would have hopped in. APOP I have no problems with. We're bouncing off a very nice support line. We have a nice U-shaped breakout pattern, and that's when the stock went from 990 all the way up towards around 1060. You know, went on a 70 cent spike. There's nothing wrong with this play whatsoever at all. It's just the time I got my order set up, it was already at um, it was already at like 1020, and I just didn't want to hop in at that point. You know, it, it did continue to move on up, and red to green moves are absolutely beautiful things. They they move up, you know, very consistently, move up very nicely, and that's exactly what we looked for when we went over to CYCC. There was also IDXG today. IDXG today, guys, again, you know, it basically made it very simple for us. IDXG had great news. IDXG had great news this morning. It says it announces a European patent approval, which was awesome. Uh, but the, the main fact is, okay, you know what? IDXG, it does have very strong 310 resistance, as you guys can see in pre-market. Let's kind of move this a time frame back. Uh, 310, you know, held up a lot right here along this 310 mark. We have a little bit of upper shadows, but you can see that's kind of the main honcho right here around 310. And we also have 320, which is, I believe, the uh, 200 day moving average on IDXG. So IDXG does have a lot of resistance, but that stock could easily spike with its, uh, how low of a float is this thing now? Um, 714,000, as you guys could see right here. Very low float, very big rip in the past. This thing could absolutely take on off, but it's gotten stuffed multiple times in this $3 range. So it's something we definitely have to understand and something you have to be wary of. Um, so IDXG, it made it very easy for us to say, okay, we're not playing this play. We had to wait for uh, a, probably like a 315 break. And honestly, IDXG opened up at three bucks, went to 303, and then we're right back down. Never even gave us a chance, never even... Um, you know, it was a concern that, hey, you know what, if this comes, it, it, you know, it's not like we it, like we should be in on this play right now. It was never like that. You know, it fell right at the start of the day, made it very easy for us to say, okay, we're not buying this. You know, that it made it very simple, made it very easy for us to just be like, okay, we're not buying this. There's no point to. Um, and that's why we didn't play IDXG. Uh, but again, a lot of great things about IDXG, but it fell at the start of the day. Now, this is something I always talk about, guys. You know, we don't ever want to buy stocks just right at the start of the, uh, the bell. You know, that's not what I do. That Personally, that is not what I do. Is there opportunity to make money right at the start of the day? Like if we look back at STDY, 
If we look at back at STDY, it went on like about a 50 cent spike, 850 all the way up towards, or about uh, like an 80 cent spike or a dollar spike. STDY all the way up towards 840, uh, all the way up towards around 950, 960. So yes, this went on a very nice rip. It's right on the day now, as you guys can see, it's right on the day. But yes, it went on a very nice rip if I bought right at the bell. But also, IDXG, if I bought right at the bell, I would also lose a whole bunch of money here. And that's why I don't buy at the bell, guys. I'm here as a job. This is my occupation. This is what I do every single day. I don't leave my salary up to a gamble. You know, that's not what I'm about here when I trade, guys. If I want to gamble, I'll go to a casino. If I want to gamble, I'll, you know, go play roulette or blackjack or craps or whatever game you guys want to play. You know, whatever you want to do. You get the point. Uh, but I'm not here to gamble, you know, for my actual career or salary. So I'm not going to be buying at the bell hoping that it just goes in my direction. You know, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a few minutes. I'm going to wait to see what this stock's going to do. And then I'm going to look for the best possible setup. So IDXG, I was looking to see if this play was going to be our play, but as you guys could see, it just dropped down at the start of the day, wasn't going to be it. So it's very easy to kind of narrow these stocks out, guys. We had about you know like five different stocks, but just from them opening up, I was be able to I was able to tell to my uh, say to myself, okay, you know what, I want to hop in on these plays. I don't want to hop in on these plays. We'll see if these ones develop. So CYCC, guys, how did I spot this out? Well, CYCC, if we look back in pre-market, actually, right here show pre-market on CYCC, we have this stock going on a pretty big run in pre-market. It actually went from, it went up to $6 and then dropped all the way back down to four bucks. Whenever we see something like this, guys, it usually shows that we have, a, you know, hidden attention. You know, that would be a good way to put it. It's like hidden attention. It's like people are aware of this play, but they don't want to push it up too high because they want it spiking later on. You know, and that's, I've seen this happen a few times. I've seen this happen on HMNY. When HMNY went on this spike, uh, it did it. I've seen this uh, happen on SPU. When SPU went on one of these spikes, I believe it was probably this first one. That's when it did it. It might have been one of these as well. Uh, you know, it, it basically does exactly that. So on CYCC, it, I like to call this, you know, a good way to put it would be like hidden volume or like secret volume is where the stock will, you know, rip on up very quickly and then come back all the way down. If I see a $2 spike in pre-market and it comes back down, someone is interested. You know, there is, you know, a, a huge some amount that is interested in this play um and then it starts coming back on down and then it kind of you know dashes its way back on up a little bit so it's definitely on you know my agenda today on cycc now why was that so i saw that in pre-market starting to get a little funny so i looked at cycc i saw it came out with a press release yesterday um and it says basically cycc with its drug it affects lung cancer so it's brand new drug affects his lung cancer. Basically, all you guys have to do is read this first line. It says the study of that drug uh, to the growing evidence of treating cancer. So basically, again, just filter out, you know, anything you really don't understand, you know, CDK inhibition as an approach, again, treating cancer. So basically, the study adds growing evidence to approaching, you know, treating cancer. Now, that is, you know, basically what the main thing you really want to look for. Obviously, you can continue to read into this uh, press release, but that's all I read. That's the only thing I read, guys. Time is your most important asset. You know, as I tell you guys this a lot, time's your most important asset. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, blue, purple, brown, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, middle class, time is something you will never get back. And in the stock market, guys, in the stock market, um, the, the time is going to be your best friend or your worst enemy. Uh, if you are late to a trade, you could be making hundreds of dollars, you buy in late, it turns around on you, now you're losing hundred dollars. If you're prepared, you buy in first, now you have all this time for everyone to come up and you know uh, push that stock on up and you make all the money. So it's basically, you know, time could be your best friend or time could be your worst enemy. I don't have time to read this whole entire thing, guys, especially when I'm looking for the best play. You know, if I'm reading CYCCs, you know, all of this, you know, that's not going to help me. If I need, I, and then have to read IDXG and then read all of this, you know, that's going to take up so much time. And then I got to go to another press release and like look at like COOL and then possibly read all of this. You know, am I going to get anything done? No. And that's why I always have our keywords to look for in hot press releases, guys. Again, our keywords look for in hot press releases right here. And, um, this is basically just going to tell me, is it worth my time? You know, looking at any of these words, this is going to, you know, tell me, is this worth my time? And this is in the key, uh, the notepad, guys, in the bottom left-hand corner of the chat room that all you guys have, you know, all you guys have at notepad, bottom left-hand corner, so you guys can look up keywords, look for in hot press releases. But what I have here is CYCC, I have CYCC and a basically some hidden volume uh, in pre-market. 
I see that the stock has had a giant rip in the past. The stock has absolutely ripped in the past before. Um, the stock loves to move, and uh, it's also a very low float stock at around three million in float. So, why do I, you know, look at this play? Let's switch down to the one minute chart. One minute happens. The stock opens on up, opens up right here at 459. Opens up here at 459. So obviously we know, okay, CYCC 459. If this stock falls, we could have a possible red to green move on our hands. So the stock falls back down. Perfect. You know, we have a, a great press release. We have the stock falling back on down. Now all we have to do is look for a U-shaped breakout pattern or a red to green move. Basically, again, a, U, a red to green move is a U-shaped breakout pattern through the open. If you want to think about it like that, that's what it is. So what we have here is 450. We have a 460 buy alert. The stock uh, comes back on down and then actually starts forming some 450, uh, 445 resistance as well. So it actually starts forming some 445 resistance. As you can see, it touches once, touches twice, touches three times, touches four times. And then so we could tell 445 is kind of like the main mark that this is going to have to break. So it finally comes up to this uh, fourth time hitting uh, 445, and that's where the volume starts coming on in. That's when the volume starts coming on in. That's when it goes on a nice break, and that's when it breaks even through the open. Uh, and that's when we had our buy alert at 460. So we have the 460 buy alert. I didn't get in until right here at 480, the top of this candle right here at 480. Now, why, why didn't I get into 480? Because the thing was choppy. It wasn't easy to get into. It was not easy to get into on CYCC today. You know, it was not the easiest play to get into because there was a spread on this play. It wasn't the biggest spread in the world. It wasn't 30 cents. It wasn't anything too scary. Uh, but at the same time, doing a limit order, if you guys don't use any sort of hotkeys, typing everything out, you probably would have missed it. Personally, how did I get in on this play? I got in with a market order, guys. Now, a lot of people hate market orders, which is absolutely fine uh, because you don't know the exact price you're going to be getting into. But if the spread is only you know less than five cents or five cents or below, and you believe that the stock is going to keep moving on up, there's you know I'm not going to waste my time probably doing a limit order and maybe missing the play. I know CYCC. I played CYCC in the past, and every time I played it, it goes on big time rips. Every time I play the stock. You know, if it's here, it's ripping, here, ripping, here, ripping, you know, here, ripping, here, ripping. Every time I play, it usually rips. So uh, I was not really concerned if I got in, you know, four cents higher than the, the current, you know, uh, the current uh, asking price or anything like that or the, the current price of the play. Uh, I was absolutely okay with that because I know CYCC is a big time ripper and a big time climber. So CYCC broke through uh, 480. That's when it moved up towards 510. It got halted right then. I knew I was making money on the day. Not only am I already up, you know, very nicely, but uh, the, the plain fact is we're moving up on CYCC on a uh, positive cancer um, on a positive cancer press release. And uh, I knew activity was going to move in here at that three to, uh, with three million in float. So we had the gap up right here to 531. It ran up to 550. I wanted to shoot for 580. I wanted to shoot up towards 580, of course, because I wanted to look for a thousand dollar day. Um, then you could see the Doji started started forming, started coming back on down. I just wanted to lock in profits. I wasn't letting this thing slip by me, so I locked in my profits here, and that's when it started moving back on up. So I could have ultimately, if I played it perfectly, made around 1,200 dollars on the day because I only had a thousand shares. But at the same time, I have no room to complain. I'm happy. 400 bucks on the day, nothing to really worry about. Um, same exact thing, guys. If you want to, if you see that the stock is not working in your direction, you can honestly just do a market order to get out. Now, again, you know, people, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's not what you want to do. It's more of just what your preference is. Personally, the way I like to get out on my plays, guys, is I like to place limit orders. So if I get in, let's say, at uh, let's say 480, sometimes the best thing to do is I'll immediately just put a limit order up at 550. So if it hits 550, I'm out. Um, and uh, that's always a good thing to do. You can always do a, uh, you know, just put like 550. You pick the price you want to get out at. If it hits it, you're out. If things aren't going in your way or if it's spiking and you just want to get out, you can always do a market order. Again, you know, it's based on your preference. You know, I'm never going to bash anyone for making money in the market. You know, I, whatever works best for you, that is what I want you guys to do. So whatever works best for you, that's what I want, uh, that's what I want uh, for you guys uh, to do and that's what I want you guys to stick on. So CYCC, again, basically wrapping this stock up. You know, why did we pick this play? Why did we focus on this play this morning? Simple enough, at a great press release. As a great patch chart history pattern. We were low on the RSI when we look at CYCC. You know, uh, we were low on the RSI as we may be overbought now not even overbought now. 
you see, you know, we were all the way down towards around like a 52, 55 on the RSI. You know, it wasn't that bad at all. Um, so CYCC, again, you know, I'm looking, talking about all the good things about it. Good press release, low on the RSI, nice low float, great patch chart history of spiking, red to green move, my favorite breakout pattern. Um, and just knowing that this stock was going to be bringing in a lot of volume off that good press release is why I hopped in on this play. Again, I did a market order because I didn't want to miss out on the momentum wave. And as long as I'm on the momentum wave, I'm absolutely okay with that. Um, I played the stock in the past. I, I know the stock absolutely loves to rip. But, you know, you get in, make your money, get out, and that's all you guys need. CYCC. Now, CYCC today, guys, you know, this has just been an absolute monster climb from yesterday. This is what we call a continuation breakout, guys. And we also call it a breakout supernova as well. As uh, CYCC, this is basically following the same patterns as what we've been seeing in the market. We are in a very hot penny stock market, guys, right now. We are in a very hot penny stock market right now. And that's just on the pure fact that, again, the futures aren't really doing too much. Futures right now, the Dow was down around two points. It's only up 34 points now. The NASDAQ's only up two points now. The S&P 500 is down less than a point now. No one's really playing the futures or any of those stocks uh, because of the plain fact they're just not moving. So all volume is down in the penny stock world. Look at the daily chart right here, and you guys can see the past you know, two weeks or even three weeks, HTGM, breakout supernova, you know, GBR, breakout supernova, CBIO. You know, breakout supernova, even if we go back to AUPH, you know, we had this breakout supernova, even PULM on some nice bounce place, uh, bounce uh, plays uh, right here from $2 all the way up towards around, you know, $4, you know, a lot of big time ripping, you know, we've been playing these stocks, you know, CYCC, HGGM, GBR, CBIO, all these plays, you know, every single day, we've been playing all these every single day in the market, uh, because, you know, they're just awesome, awesome uh, plays. And, you know, CYCC, as we said yesterday, you know, we alerted this play um, all the way back at uh, 460. And then I got in at 480. You know, I haven't been holding this whole entire time. No, you know, no way I've been holding this whole entire time. But if I did, you know, I'd be absolutely banking. And it's really just because of the pure fact we're finding these very low float stocks with great press releases and it's just the current trend we're in that we're just having gap ups to more runs gap ups to more runs and better rips and it's just being a very very um monstrous market on the long side and that's a lot of traders are coming up to me and they say hey you know we haven't done any shorting alerts in a while you're right we haven't done any shorting alerts in a while but you know i don't want to be on the wrong side of this simple as that i don't want to be on the wrong side of uh, CYCC at you know the six dollar mark. I don't want to be on the wrong side of HTGM shorting this at six dollars and it runs all the way up. I don't want to be on the short side of GBR at two sixty and then it runs all the way up. So you know a lot of traders are asking me why aren't we shorting any sort of plays? It's just on the pure fact that we have too much hot momentum in this market. Now is there shorting opportunities? Absolutely. If you can nail it perfectly from eleven dollars down to nine dollars, that's you know absolutely you know that's wonderful. And that is awesome to see. Uh, but other than that, though, guys, what I want you guys to understand is why CYCC is still having this continuation breakout. So why is this stock still having this continuation breakout? It's simple enough. It's just because of the stock is uh, running off these great FDA trial news, as I already showed you guys a little earlier. CYCC, this was from uh, yesterday. Oh, well, this is two hours ago, but it's really from yesterday that we have a succeeds in lung cancer study. Um, and this is what we saw yesterday come out at, I believe, around 8.30 a.m. So 8.30 a.m. came. We had CYCC came out with these you know, very nice uh, positive effects in lung cancer, uh, proving that it is uh, you know, making uh, dramatic effects and helping out patients with lung cancer. Um, and that is what's you know, really driving this market on up. As I already showed you guys on uh, stocks to keep on on or not stocks to keep on watch excuse me as i already said uh keywords look for in hot press releases keywords look for in hot press releases what do you always want to look for you always want to look for the word positive positive is always a good word to look for you also want to look for the word cancer cancer always brings in a lot of um cancer right here this always brings in a lot of uh, investors, if you see positive and then like drug trials on cancer, that always brings in a lot of attention. Also, like increase, uh, that's always good. Um, or yeah, there's increase or gain or it meets primary endpoints, you know. So make sure you guys always check that out. In this case, you know, when we're looking at CYCC, for instance, so in this case, you know, looking at CYCC, if we bring this back over right here, we can see, for instance, 
So in this case, you know, looking at CYCC, if we bring this back over right here, we could see we have positive FDA, which is also a keyword, succeeds. So what we have here, again, if we kind of, you know, break everything down, we have uh we have positive, we have FDA, we have successful, which is exceeds, we have cancer. Um, so we're basically, you know, just hitting everything. And you could see, you know, these keywords really make these stocks, you know, really take on off and, um, you know, really rip. So make sure you guys always watch that. So this is just one big continuation breakout off a low float stock that has ripped big in the past, you know, not only here when from 570 all the way up to $10, that's nice, that's cute. But you know, we've also seen some bigger rips before where it's gone from $6 all the way up to 12, you know, all the way up to 1256. So you know, that stock definitely has a lot of big time potential. Now we are seeing, you know, a very strong pullback so far after coming up to $11 resistance. And so far on CYCC, again, we had a few alerts yesterday, and we've had three alerts today, all starting back at that $9 mark. Now, all starting back at that $9 mark, which is at the top of this uh, shadow right here, all at this $9 mark, this is actually when we got halted. Uh, we were talking about it. The stock started moving too fast. I wanted to try to get in at 835. I was trying to get you guys in at 872. And then it came up at $9. It got halted. We played the halt game. Um, and uh, then we know we got this nice big rip all the way on up. But look at this, guys. This right here is just another big. You know, even right here, this is just another big red to green move. Look how nice and solid this green candle is because of the stock falling underneath and then breaking out above. It's just one big red to green move. And then you could think about this as one big U-shaped pattern. And then you can even break it down even more if you guys want to put some resistance, you know, right at the top of this upper shadow. And then you want to put a trend line, let's say, you know, right here. If I, you know, go on this little area and we could look for, you know, some possible squeezing. You know, it goes on if you actually even continue out this trend line, you can see it even stays on that bullish side until it cracks. And right when it cracks that trend line, that's the key sign that the stock has gone from uh, bullish to bearish. And right when it cracks that mark, you can see bullish to bearish. That's when the stock starts falling. So it's just about putting, you know, easy trend lines in. And when you put easy trend lines in, anything up here is bullish, 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 bullish. The moment it cracks, bearish. And that's when all shorters come in. So it's very easy to predict the market, guys. It's just about having the right indicators and, you know, telling yourself, you know where is that uh, best possible play you know where is the, the the predictable trend line where is the next predictable you know u-shaped breakout pattern the ascending wedge the descending wedge the bull flag you know what's the best possible play here and that's what it's all about guys it's just about figuring out the best possible plays and using your indicators and your fundamentals to say to yourself okay you know what this is bullish this is bearish right when it cracks i'm out okay right here we have a nice u-shaped breakout pattern let's look for a possible entry right here at 840 even if you notice this you know, it opened up at 789, where at 795, excuse me. Uh, so if you say, okay, break of eight dollars, I'm getting in. Boom. If you're missing that, you could say, okay, old high of the day, 860, break of 860, I'm getting in. Boom. What's the rule of thumb? Rule of thumb is if it breaks 875 on a breakout supernova, we're going to be hitting ten dollars. So you could hop in at nine dollars right here, 925, 950 right here, 975. No matter what, we're going to be running up to ten dollars. Then we come down on this trend line before it, you know, start cracking. You know, use your indicators, guys. Use your indicators. You will be able to predict the stock market simply.